Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. JB and today we are going to be going through another photo pre tutorial with the company of MF Ghost, uh, the new initial D. <clears throat> I figured that this would be the perfect bit for that to kind of go through some different brushes and some different effects within photo P. Now to start, you're going to need to download some fire brushes. This is the link that I use. It will be in the description below. Once you download it, you'll get a zip folder. You'll just drag it and drop it in. Now you're going to create two uh, layers of whatever your image is. So just whatever it is that you've dropped in, just press Control J and make a duplicate layer or right click and duplicate layer. With your top layer, you are going to go to select and then you're going to go to remove BG. If this doesn't work, it means you're going to have to take some time and trace your vehicle. Now it's not super necessary. You can do it without it, but I do find that this looks a little bit better when you're able to do this. Now you're going to convert that to a smart object so that way you just end up with the car itself with a transparent background. Now with that, we are going to create a new layer. We're going to drag it below our car. We're going to select uh, that layer and we're going to change its mode to lighten. And that's for our layer two, as you can see on my screen. From here, I'm going to select a brush and I'm just going to end up selecting my soft round and I'm not going to make it super huge. And I'm going to choose a color for this one. I'm choosing a blue. I've already kind of chosen my two colors that I'm going to be using for this, which are going to be these two. Uh, we'll talk about them later. Now you're just going to create a slight outline of the car. So that way it looks like the aura is going around the outside of the car. Take your time. The reason we want to use our soft brush is so that way it gives us more of like a fade effect. That'll kind of be really helpful for, for us to, to get it to look how we want it to look. Now from here, we're going to create two more new layers. So that's this one with the folded paper. We're going to select the top one and we are going to change that to lighten. And then we are going to select the second one and we are going to set that to linear dodge. Now with our first one, a lot of this is going to be personal preference and just time kind of tinkering. So as I'm doing that, I'm going to kind of speed run through it. So you'll see that it go kind of fast, but I'm just going to be selecting some different brushes within my fire settings and I'm going to be adjusting their sizes and I'm just going to kind of be dropping them in. As I drop them in, if I like them, I'm going to keep them. I might have to change the sizes. I might have to change their angles so that way they can do different things for me and kind of give me the effects that I'm ultimately looking for. Cool. So as you can see, I've done my first color. I've done my top layer. It looks okay. It's not fantastic, but you can see the effect we're kind of going for. Now it's just about adding flames in different areas to give you that flamey aura the same way they would when they're having any sort of race in initial D. Now it's never just one color. It's usually a couple different shades of whatever that color is. So within that, I've chosen my color. And all I did when I chose this color was I just kind of dragged it over within the menu to kind of choose something that was a little bit lighter. I'm going to go through and just throw a couple that are kind of more sporadic and random just to create the effect to kind of be a little bit more showing different colors of heat and different colors of that flame. Now, don't forget to change your angles and things like that because it does make a big difference. If you had every angle being the same, it doesn't usually end up looking super great. So just kind of mix it up, throw it around in there, drop a couple, choose a couple different flames. And once you're happy with it, then you're done. So I'm just going to blast away at this for a couple more seconds and I will see you all in a second. Alrighty, and there you have it. Um, after all that time, after all that we've done, we've now got our vehicle looking as though we've got our glow. We've got that glowing around it. If you don't like that and you prefer to have more of a deep, intense glow, you can always shut off that layer that we created before. And you can kind of see that we have more of an intense glow. You can adjust that. You can adjust the opacity within there to make it not quite as bright. And maybe you prefer how that looks. But whichever way, you've now got two kind of options for creating this effect. You can create this as though it's a real car. It doesn't need to be an anime car, for example. This will kind of transfer to anything. Or if you just kind of create some sort of glow, like you're trying to go Super Saiyan or whatever, the same idea will apply with that. Now, with that, that's all that we're going over. That's all that this is going to be. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe.